In this video, I want to show you how you can implement a drill through button in Power BI. I'm going to show you how you can easily do this without any use of code. And then I'm going to show you how you can customize your drill buttons even further, making it dynamic to go to different drill through pages. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So drill through is a feature in Power BI that allows your users to see more details about your data. Now I've covered this in the past already across several videos, and in all those solutions, we always use the right click to drill down feature. So let me show you. So first let's import a file here, which we used for a previous video. And in this case, we're just going to import the employees data, which is just a list of all the employees that we have for a fictional company. I'm going to just change all of these data types to make sure they are correct. And then we'll hit close and apply and load it into our report here. So first, what we'll do is we'll just create a summary page here. So I'm going to just rename this page uh, summary. And I'm going to bring in a department and uh, count the number of people we have for each of those departments. So count this thing like this. And we're going to make this a bar chart, something like this going to add data labels and we'll change the title summary of headcount. And let's say we want to give our users the ability to drill through each of these employees or each of these departments to see who those people are. So we're going to create a new page, our drill through page, just say to say details. And we're going to add some information about the employees on a table, just simply table. So first name, last name, their department, and um, let's just let's just leave it like that for now. Actually, let's also add ID here. Don't summarize, so we're not summarizing that. And we're gonna add a quick title, just to say this is uh, details. So if we want this page to be a drill through page for our summary page, we'll simply drag the ID into the drill through fields well on this page. So make sure that any visuals using ID will allow you to drill through to this page. So you'll see that it works. It adds a back button for us here. So what will happen is if we go back to the summary here. When you now right click to any of this elements here, you will have the ability to drill through to the detail. So it filters this table to give you those details of all of those employees within accounting that you've right clicked. The back button, obviously, when you click, will go back to the previous page where you were at. Now, looking at this chart as it is, unless you add some text or prompt saying that a right click to drill through feature is available, it's not going to be very obvious for your users that this feature is available. So what you want to do is you might want to convert this feature into a button instead. So we can do that pretty easily, actually. So if we hit insert button here, and uh, we're just going to create a blank one for now. Just move this one slightly up so we can add the button down here. We're just going to make it slightly bigger. And see if we can add a text here to say drill. And then I'm just going to change it a little bit, remove the borders, and perhaps add the fill. Or maybe we'll just leave the border as it is. So now under action, if we enable that, it will allow you to set a drill through action to this. 
saying the destination will be to a certain page. So you will see that once you've set the action type for this button as drill through, it automatically disables that button. Now it's disabled because you haven't made any selection yet on any of the visuals to warrant it going for a drill through. However, what will now happen is if you click, let's say human resources, that enables that button, which if you now click, it will drill through to this page quite easily. And you'll see that you've not had to set anything up, even the buttons, it's all click and drag and drop, which is pretty simple to implement. Now that you know how to implement a drill button without any code, now I want to show you a trick that allows you to switch which drill through page this button takes you. So let's say for example, we have a second page. So I'm gonna just duplicate this page here. I'm just gonna name it a contacts page, let's just say. And uh, we'll just leave the back button as it is, drill through uh, well as it is. We'll just change a few details here. And let's say we want to be able to drill through here and in, with different details like email or maybe gender. So now you have two different pages which you can use to drill through. If you right click here, you will see there are two different pages available for you. Now you want this button to be able to dynamically switch which page it drills through based on a selection that your users make. Now when you look and we click at the action button here on the drill through, you'll see that there is an FX icon here that we can take advantage of, which means that we can create some dynamic calculations. And all it needs in this conditional formatting is just the name of the page where you want it to go. So at the moment we have it detail, but we don't want to hard code that, we wanna set it based on a selection that our users make. So let's set that up. So let's start by entering or creating a table uh, pages and then I'm just gonna name this one drill selection you can name it whatever you want the important bit is that the name of the pages are what is in this table so the detail page and the contacts page and if you hit load so you will now have that table which if you drag here we can make it as a filter slicer that your users can choose from. So we'll, maybe we can change it as horizontal like this so they can pick and choose which page they want to, de to drill through to. So they can make a selection like that. So next we want to hook this up into this action to make sure that it's, uh, it's what's being selected and being drilled into. So we're gonna create a new measure and we're gonna say uh, drill selected is equals to uh, whatever is selected here. So we're gonna say, give me the pages like this. And it's a measure that basically just returns which page is selected from our filter here. So it just gives you contacts and then detail if it's detail. Simple. The last thing is we need to now hook this up into the action of our drill button. So here, instead of detail, we'll say the destination is based on a field value, which if we go to our table here, it's the drill selected. So now what will happen is uh, if we click uh, one value here, you will see that the detail is selected. So we'll click now drill. It will take us to the details page. Oh, and actually let's just modify the title here so that we know it's contacts. So I'm gonna go contacts like this. So if we go back to our summary page here, now we select contacts and we select sales and let's say we want to drill through to that page. And there you go, it takes you directly to the contacts page. If you want detail, can also get detail. There we go. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to implement drill buttons in your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. 
Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.